Hello everyone. This is July 18th, 2022 at noon hour. It is 18, no, 20, 20 degrees feels like 25. There we go. Sorry. Almost give it to your dog. It doesn't matter that much anyway. Feels like 25. Out. So we got a beautiful, nice day today for a walk. And I am in the north end today. I'm on the corner of Young and Roby, which is right there. And we're going to do a walk up Young Street today. I haven't done that for a long time. A lot of you that are new wouldn't have seen any, any videos up there. So here we go, Young Street. See what changes are taking place on Young Street today. Most of the Young Street will be walking is a business area. May, may be some residential up here a little farther up, but for the most part, it's it's business. I got a coffee going, so I just gotta see. Just came out of Tim Hortons. I gotta hold this gimbal in my left hand, hold my coffee in my right. I spent the last hour in the eye clinic today. I had to go in and do some of the the pre work before you actually get your your uh, cataract removed. I got the first one done, now I'm on the, working on the steps for the second one. So you have a couple of appointments before you actually get to the, to the surgery. So anyways, working on it. Things are progressing good, so. I go back in August for my second appointment and things I have to do. And then the next thing after that will be my surgery. So, in the meantime, my eyes are good, fairly good. Even with my left bad one, it's still not bad with my, with my good one. So, my plan is to get this all done. And then when it's all healed up and look good like the other one, I'm going to go get an eye test and some glasses probably and that will top it right off. So enough about that. I am at Monaghan Square. That's the name of this spot right here. Two apartment towers and some buildings. And the street is also called Monaghan Street. Do you want to take a walk down it just for something to do? Then we'll come back up and continue on with our journey. The office tower right there. A little plaza for people that live in this area, I guess, and, or anybody for that matter, but. Okay, I'm gonna let that car go first because I might be right in this way when he wants to pull out. Okay, let's go down to the end. It's a dead end street, so we're just going to walk down the end. And I believe the postal, the sorting station for Canada Post is at the end of the street, if I'm not mistaken. Here's a little bit look, different look at those buildings that's under construction. From over here, you see a little different view than you see over by Tim Hortons, who I usually am. So we'll just go to the end and then we'll walk back and, and continue on up Young Street. I just wanted to come down this way because I never really showed much down this way. Thought it might be a good idea. So the, the the postal sorting station is right there. It's the end of the end of the street. It's a dead end street. And anyways, there's a little bit of a look over that way. And we will continue back over to Young Street and keep going. Westward, there we go.
get my direction straight, going west on Yonge Street. Once I, not yet, once I get to the corner, we'll be going west on Yonge. That office building right there is the Yonge Tower. Got a lot of different stuff in there. I think there's a radio station in there too, if I'm not mistaken. Well, it's so nice to be out and have a great day to do a video. And beautiful, beautiful weather this is. I love it. Enjoy it now because when it gets cold, we'll be back to freezing our toes and our fingers and all that stuff out here in the cold again. So we'll enjoy it now. Okay, so that's it for Monaghan Street. It was just a short, short, tiny little street. And it intersects with Young and right across the street is a, a plaza with different uh, things in it. So that's pretty handy. You got a plaza right there in that part of the building. Not a lot in there. There's a drugstore and a barber shop. A uh, few pharmacy. Yeah, and all, a few little other things. Boosters use. Then over here you got a bigger plaza with a supermarket. Oh, no. Superstore and there's a dollar ram over there and a whole bunch more stuff And that's called the young Kemp Center because that's Kemp Road out the other way. All right. Okay Enough of that. Let's go Walking the sidewalk of Young Street heading west on a beautiful summer day in July July the 18th. Wow, this July is flying by a little too fast. After July, we only got August and then we're into the September. Ooh, where does it go? You wait all year for summer and it's, it's going to say that. But we certainly will enjoy it while we have it. That right there, a couple of years ago, was a one level. Used to be a mattress store there. I don't know if anybody else is there or not. There was a mattress store, anyway, in the parking lot, whatever. Right there. If you haven't been in the North End for a while, you're going to get a quite a shock when you come back here. Like if you left here back in the 80s or 90s, then Ontario or Alberta, and you just come back, you're gonna be like, whoa, this looks like Toronto. <laughs> or it looks like uh, whatever city you're used to. Well, I thought I had somebody behind me, but they turned in there. By the looks of that picture on the front, that building's almost reached its height. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine or ten stories high, I guess. That right over there is the Halifax Forum. Halifax Forum is 
a hockey rink, but it's also a flea market in there, and there's various venues in there. Quite a large place, and it does a lot more than just hockey. The big rink in the back is hockey, but there's a lot more to it. There's even uh, music shows and stuff happens in there. At one point in the pandemic, this is where we used to come to get our uh, vaccinations. But, uh, there's other locations, but that's where I came. Me and my son both came there. I'm not sure if my wife came there, I don't think so. It's at another location. Okay, I gotta take this little crosswalk across here. It's kind of weird here. You can't go right straight up. Well, because there's no crosswalk down there. I am on the corner of Young and Windsor. And this is where Young Street ends and Bayers Road begins. Now, that's just a short piece of yarn, so we're gonna find something else to do. Maybe we'll go on down. I think that's how we're doing. We'll go down Bay as well, because it joins right on to Young in the same direction. Perfect blue sky today. What can I gonna show you? Not a not a cloud in sight anywhere. As far as I can see, there's not a cloud in the sky. Isn't that great? Thankful in Halifax we have trees that give us some shade. Otherwise it'd be very hot out here. Well I had the common sense not to wear my jacket today. I got a really thin t-shirt on, but I got a denim shirt over the top. I don't really need that, but it's on. It's got a couple of pockets and it helps that way. Well, let's continue on down. This is the way to Halifax Shopping Center, down Bears Road. I might walk that far, we'll see, maybe. I just gotta check something here. Make sure that everything is good. Yeah, okay. My numbers are clicking off there, that's good. There's another military Spot right here. Not sure what they do. It's not a big lot, but it must be hooked on to the. It looks like army. So we have everything here. We have army, air force, navy. Everything here in Halifax. This is a military hub. I can see way over to Fairview and up in the 
up by Bears Lake area. Clear across there. That area is building up a lot too with condos and plazas and things like that. So I am on Bayers Road. That was spelled B-A-Y-E-R-S. But the locals in Halifax don't pronounce it Bayers. They pronounce it Bears, like a, a bear, like a, a, a grizzly bear. They say it like that, Bears Road, like more than one bear, Bears Road. But it's actually Bayers, B-A-Y-E-R-S, but they don't sound it that way. Once you're here a while, you'll hear a lot of that Bears Road. I used to wonder, where is that? Uh, then I finally put two and two together. The Bears meant Bayers. Slight difference in pronunciation there, but. Well, we're almost to our full four years in Halifax. We came here in 2018. July 31st, August 1st, that weekend. I think it was August 1st when we got here. We left Ontario in, in July 31st, or July 30th. Left Ontario July 30th. Or 31st, not sure. And we got here August the 1st, right and early in the morning. And these four years have passed so quickly. I can't believe I can't believe it how fast they went. The older you get, the less hurry you're in for the years to go by. You just they can take their time now. And then not that big a hurry for it, so. I gotta push my button. Yeah. I just drove up through here a while ago. Now I'm walking it. Because my appointment for the eye specialist was down here. And I just passed Oxford, Oxford Street again. It's Windsor and then Oxford. Roby, Windsor and Oxford. With a few small streets in there in between. All this construction is going on right around this restaurant. And I gotta wonder, how long this restaurant can hold out in this place with all these new construction going right on around it. The buildings come right up behind it. And this one too, same thing here. But I don't think this one's this is for lease. I don't, they'll have a hard time leasing that. That'd be a matter of time and that one will be be gone. Be biting the desk because you can't you can't fight. You can't fight progress. Okay, I don't have any sidewalk any farther down here. So that's probably far enough on Bayer's Road. I only set out to go on Young Street, but I can but I came up Bayer's Road a ways because Young Street ended there. So anyway, I'm gonna go walk back a ways. I know what we could do. We'll walk back, and we'll go down in the Hydrostone area for a brief walk around, okay? The, the, the downtown Hydrostone, where all the stores are. 
we'll walk around there. And there's a park. I've walked through there on rainy days and cold days in the winter and stuff like that. But today's going to be a nice, beautiful day to walk around down there. No rain, nice and warm. Best time to show a park is summertime when it's nice and warm out. Things always look different when you go in the other direction. Even though I just walked up here, it'll look different going back. This place has moved out. We're moving. New location. Of course, with all the construction that's going on here, you might as well move and get in on a, a new spot that's doing something. Let's try to stay here in the middle of the construction. If I was in business, that's what I would keep in mind. If they're tearing everything down around me, I will move mine too before I have to. It looks like that's going to be Maybe a construction site before long. Wouldn't be surprised. Well, I got a message on my screen, but I don't want to interrupt my video. I think my wife got done a little earlier than she thought, and she sent me a message that she's going to be at Tim Hortons. So if I walk over, spend some time with her, I can turn off my video and I can finish it after I socialize with her for a little while. Nice shade under this tree. Next time I go out, I'm gonna take off my shirt, I think. 
when I do the rest of my video. I'm gonna stop at Tim Hortons. The car is parked there. And meet up with my wife who's doing deliveries with her courier company. And have a coffee with her and then I'll go put my shirt in the car and then we'll continue our walk over to Hydrostone. Good. This is kind of tricky here. You gotta make sure nobody hits you coming around that turn. Uh, passing the forum again over there and we'll pass these towers and I'll be back to Tim Hortons. I'm going to do what I'm not supposed to do now. There's no crosswalk here. So I'm going to I'm going to take it anyway. All right. There we go now. Okay, a few more steps and I'll be back to my, where I started. It's gonna get noisy here for a minute. Somebody running a weed whacker, head trimmer. more shade. I'm walking kind of fast because I think my wife is waiting for me down here. She sent me a message but I couldn't answer it because it's on the screen that I'm using to do this video. So I'm just going to walk back down and hope she's still here. Probably will be. There's the sign, Young Kemp Center, what they call this plaza. I know one thing, I'm dressed too warm. It's getting hot here today. I think after I, my wife goes back to work, I'm going to head home and dress down a little bit. Uh, that's just too hot for all the stuff I get on.
Well, I'm almost back to my destination. And I'm just gonna turn it off briefly. I'm not signing off because I'm gonna come back and do a little more video. Well, I don't see her truck in here, anywhere. So she might not have, I'll have to check my tech, see what it was. But I have to turn my phone off anyway to check it. So we'll come back into Tim Hortons and I'll stop my video, pause it. I'm not going to end it. I'm going to pause it. And when I get everything that I need to do, I'll be back and we'll go over and do the hydrostone area, okay? All right. So, I'm going to pause right now. Be back. Okay, I'm back. On the corner of Young and Road. Whoops, hit the wrong button. Sorry, I've done that before. I'm on the corner of the alley a bit, and we're heading over to the Hydrostone area. Hopefully, I didn't meet up with my wife there. She's still working, so I'm taking a chance to finish this. Oh, there she is now. I see her going over now. I might have to, I might have to come back and do this after. Half an hour? Okay, I got plenty of time. My wife is still working. That was that was her in the middle end courier truck then. Is she gonna be another half hour? We've got plenty of time to finish her video off. Good, good news, huh? Yeah, I thought I thought I was gonna have to stop again. But that worked out perfect. So we'll head down to the Hydrostone area. Now the Hydrostone all goes back to when the Halifax explosion took place. And a lot of buildings got damaged and leveled. And, and the, the blocks that they used to build the houses was, was this uh, stone, stone blocks. And that's how they got this area named Hydra, the Hydrostone from these cement blocks, these kind of kind of stone that they use, not cement, but stone stone blocks that they use to build houses and structures. There's something here getting a facelift. Kept part of the same structure but building something around it. Great. It might be a little plaza, it might be a gas bar, who knows? Something anyway, we'll find out in time. One more block and we'll be over to our area where we want to go. I got to get across here before this light changes. I'm at the corner of Young and Agricola. Agricola is that way. Young is that way. And I'm passing the Olin's Brewery, which is right there. What a fantastic day. I just love today. Today's great. This is just absolutely a perfect, perfect day. I know I say that a lot, but 
I love these kind of days. Blue sky, no clouds, no wind. I can make videos and I haven't got to worry about the wind. I do have my microphone plugged in, but I could have done it with just the phone. So we are now entering the heart of Hydrostone. It takes in a bigger area than just these stores, but this is the place I want to focus on today. The business, the business section of the Hydrostone. It's such a beautiful spot. It always reminds me of a, some place in England or over Europe, the European look to it. Lots of little coffee shops and food places and shops of stills. Little ornaments and, 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 and mementos and tourist stuff, things like that. There's the outdoor cafe I just passed with Starbucks and All right, we're gonna get across the road and we're gonna go through the park and then we'll walk down the other side because there's not as much on this side as the other side. The other side's more beautiful. And I love this little park right between the two streets. Really nice. Okay, let's go up to the end. Pigeons are having fun out here today, as they always do. No shortage of pigeons. I don't care what city you go into, any city in Canada, and there's pigeons. And they'll eat anything. All right, I want to show that street, but if I walk down the sidewalk there, you're not going to really see much of it. So we'll go down this side. And hopefully you can see it. Okay. All the beautiful little shops that's over here. Get past this big truck, I might be able to see a little more. There we go. I like to walk right down the outside of these cars, but there's a lot of traffic here. I think I can walk down the outside. They're getting, they're getting run over, surely. I'm gonna try my best. Also, I wanna show the, the stores and things that are in here. Made in the Maritime store right there. Everything in that store is made locally or somewhere in the Maritimes. Sushi, called Asian Flair Sushi Place. There's not a lot to the downtown Hydrostone, but this is it. Kind of a neat little place. Stand right here and just show everything that's here if I can. And I gotta show you this little park. This little park is fantastic. Not real big, but 
I think it's set up for a, some kind of a festival in here because there's a tent up there with seats in it. Let's go explore that and find out if, if that's what that is. I think there's a, they're doing shows in here. It's what it looks like. I watched a band last night in the park down by the ferry terminal. Not for a long time because I had to get home. I'd been out a while and but I watched a little bit of it. Oh yeah, so there's a stage set up in here. And I guess they play out towards the park, what it looks like. Yeah. They perform on the stage and you can sit out in the park to watch it. I guess that's the idea. Anyways, yep. Yeah. Real nice, shady spot in here too. Nice and nice, cool place to walk around in the in the hot summer. Another look at the street over there. These two streets that go around this little park are one way. They come up that way. You notice how the cars are parked at an angle? They come up and then back into those spots. On the other side, there's parking on both sides of the street, but no angle parking. And they go down that side. Okay, I am going to walk back now to wait for my wife to get done her job. Okay, here you go. I can give you a little bit of a story now. The Hydrostone is an extraordinary neighborhood known for the varied yet cohesive character of its architecture and the relaxed urban urbanity of its patterns of streets, open spaces, the plan of alternating streets and courts in an integral component. I won't read the whole thing, but the use of similar, oh yeah, the architecture exhibits an exceptional, um, talking about the, the, the Hydrostone Concrete blocks reinforces a clear sense of locality, contributes to the strong sense of the neighborhood identity. Readily definable boundaries are established by the consistent forms and materials found in this development. So there you go. The buildings are made out of these blocks and that's why it's got the name Hydrostone. Okay. Which I tried to explain it as best I could. But the, the plaque probably does a little better job. All right. Let's head on over. If I stay on this side of the street, I'll have shade. Once I get over by the Olin building. Well, let's go across and then we'll head back over down Young Street to Young and Roby again where I'm going to meet up with my wife and sign off this video, okay? Hope you're enjoying this video with me. Let's we'll walk around here on a beautiful sunny day in the north end of Halifax. And there's many other things to see around this area too. It's a beautiful, beautiful part of the city to live in. Unfortunately, I don't live in this part of the city. I'm across the harbor, way down the lower end of Dartmouth. But it's okay. Wherever you live is what you make it. You can be, you can be a nice person no matter where you live and you can make friends in your neighborhood. Steer clear of the bad people and embrace the good ones. 
that's my model. In a hurry to get across this lake. I think that woman I just passed was all of three feet tall. Pretty short. Well, I'm short, but I could look right down on top of her head. So I know she wasn't very tall. This intersection right here is one of the busiest corners in all of Halifax. One of them, there's other busy ones too. But this is a really busy intersection. And I know for a fact people have been hit by cars here several times. So it's not a place you want to jaywalk. You want to wait for your light Wait for your walk sign and then go across after you look on every direction. The best advice I can give for this corner. I'm almost back. across and take a shortcut into the SO and I will be done this video. I got back before my wife, so I get time to put this stuff away. Back over and hang out here at Timmy's. So she gets here. Okay, this is the end of the line. I'm at Tim Hortons. Gonna meet up with my wife right here.
Okay, so let's turn around, face this corner, and sign off. If you enjoyed this video, you can push that like, look, a good time, and she's right over there. If you enjoyed this video, push that like button, thumbs up there, and that'd be great. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I'd love it if you become a subscriber. It doesn't cost anything. And with that, take care. Have a great day. Be safe. We'll see you all on the next video.